What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we're going to create domestic cold water system and add piping to connect all the fixtures in the men's room to our system. So as you can see, I already model here our pipe, the pipe that we will be using. Okay, so if I go to the 3D view, 3D plumbing overall. So as you can see, there's already a pipe created. So this is where we are going to connect all our plumbing fixtures for the uh, cold water system okay so this is uh very simple to create so basically what you just do is you can actually do it here on the 3d view you can go to system and then just create a pipe and then after that so let's go to properties so make sure you are using the correct uh, pipe type which is uh, water and then make sure you are using the correct system type here which is uh, domestic cold water okay and then after that so you can pick let's say this is i'm going to do it on the zero level so i'm going to change this to zero so from level one so the height is zero for example and then i'm going to pick the, the first point there maybe you can specify the thickness here or the diameter of your pipe but in my case, I'll, I'll just use that one just to quickly demonstrate how I created that pipe. So just click that. And then after that, the next is you specify here the middle elevation. So let's say the height is like uh, 10 feet. So just type 10 and then it will go up 10. And then after that, just create now your pipe like that. There you go. And then just select your modify. Okay. So... You can copy the height of this. So the height of this is uh, minus 4 feet. So you can click that. And then you can change the middle elevation to minus 4 feet. Just like that. So it will now go down. And maybe you may... The height here is... Okay, so the height here is 10 feet. So 10 feet. So same height. Okay, so that's how I created that uh, pipe. Alright, so let me just delete these pipes here. So I don't need that. Oops. Uh, delete okay let's just delete that one all right so let's do this so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to connect this toilet to this pipe here okay so before I do that so let us create a system first so let's right click and then go to browser and then look for system browser so as you can see here, so I still have an assigned items here. So I have nine elements and assigned. So if I expand that one, I expand this one. So for the domestic cold water here, I have um, these elements unassigned. So basically these six elements that I have here. So these two water closet, this urinal, and then these three sinks. So these six elements so they have a domestic cold water connector so that's why they are under the domestic cold water and our floor drain here it doesn't have any connector for domestic cold water or domestic hot water so it's only have the sanitary system okay so that's why it's not here on the list of my domestic cold water and uh, domestic hot water okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select like this one, window selection, and then I'm going to filter that one out. I'm going to select here, check none, and then I'm going to select here, plumbing fixtures, and then I select here, okay. So I only want to select the plumbing fixture, so I just select here, okay, and then I'm going to hold the shift and then select the floor drain, okay, because it doesn't have a domestic cold water connector so only this six so after that after selecting this six uh, plumbing fixture so let's go to the create system and create the system so let's click piping and then let's select here domestic cold water okay so domestic cold water so i'm gonna call this uh domestic cold water for room 107 Okay, and then after that, I'll just select OK. So once I select OK, you can you will see that the elements here, this six, it will now be placed under the piping system. It will not be longer 
be placed here on the unassigned because we're going to assign this on a domestic cold water system. So once I select, there you go. So it's now here. See, it's now highlighted. So expand that one. So that's the one I'm talking about. So it's now part of our piping system under the domestic cold water system. Okay, so the next thing that we'll be doing, so let's do the modeling for the pipe piping. Okay, not that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this water closet and then there's this tool connect into. Okay, so there's that uh, connect into. So I just need to connect that to that pipe there. Or another thing that you can do before you do the connection, you might want to check first the mechanical settings here. So you can click that one. And then after that, uh, on the conversion, pipe settings conversion, you can go to system classification and then let's look for uh, domestic hot water. So let's click this one. So what I want to do is for my pipe type, for domestic hot water, so make sure that one is set to water. All right, so make sure that one is water because sometimes it is set to PVC sanitary. So that's the type of pipe that you will be using if you connect your pipe automatically to a to another pipe or uh, from the plumbing fixture. Okay, so it will create a sanitary pipe for your domestic hot water, which is wrong. So make sure you are selecting the correct pipe type and then specifying here the middle elevation or the offset. So that's fine with me. So main, so branch pipe, same uh, settings. Okay, so let's go to our uh, domestic cold water. So let's click this one. All right, so for my domestic cold water, so I'm just gonna make sure that the pipe here, pipe type is water. And maybe I can change here the middle elevation or the offset like uh, nine feet, uh, three inches, something like that. So nine is space three. All right, so that is nine feet, three inches. All right, so I'm just doing this just to minimize the opportunities for uh, piping interference. So that's why I changed the offset of my uh, hot water and then cold water. So I do not want the automatic uh, pipe layout for the cold and hot water pipe to be on the same elevation because there's a possibility that those two pipes will interfere or it will clash. All right. Okay, so let us now create our cold water system. So let's uh, close this one. And then I'm just going to connect this automatically, actually. All right. So I'm going to select this water closet. And then after that, from the layout, so there is this connect into. Let's select connect into. And then after that, just select that pipe. Click that one, and there you go. So this pipe, after connecting to a pipe that has a uh, domestic cold water system, it will automatically convert it to a domestic cold water system. So for this warning, you just need to close that one. Okay, there you go. Okay, so same with this one. So let's click this. Um, let's connect into, and then let's click that pipe there. And there you go. So it's now connected. Okay, all right, next, so for our uh, urinal, so the height of this is what? So this one is 10 feet, right? So I'm going to click this and then click that icon. So it has a 3 fourth inch uh, pipe. So I'm going to click that icon to create a pipe or you can right click that node and then select draw pipe. So it's the same. So I'll just click that icon there and then I'm going to specify here the offset, which is 10 feet. So same height as, as this one. And then after that, carefully connecting that perpendicularly. Like that. So click to connect. There you go. And then select modify. All right. And then after that, for this uh, sinks here. So I'm going to select this. And then you see it has a two connector. So I'm gonna, I can actually do that on the floor plan view, okay. So I'm gonna tile this view. So there's my 3D view and then there's my uh, floor plan view. So I'm gonna click this sink here and then there's my cold water pipe. 
symbol so let's click that one okay there you go and then maybe i'm gonna place it here all right and then i'm gonna change the elevation here or the offset let's say i want a four feet so i'm gonna type four and then after that i'm going to move my mouse and then i'm going to uh place somewhere here and then i'm going to connect it here there you go and then i'll select here modify so this is now how it looks like okay all right so now for this uh remaining urinal uh, i mean uh sinks that we have here so i'm just going to connect this automatically so let's click this one uh, connect into so we just need to select the right connector which is uh, domestic cold water and then i'll just select your okay and then let's click that pipe where we want that to be connected like that so same with this just click that one connect into select the cold water and then select okay and then after that click that pipe and there you have it so that's it so we just finished creating our cold water system okay so if you want to have this exact exercise file that i'm using you can go check the description of this video so there is a link there so you can avail the exact exercise files that i'm using in my videos or of course you can always apply this to your uh, actual project so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching have a nice day